Can I get that boom, boom? Featuring Reggie. And it was our anniversary the other day. And <laughs> he got me the gooch. Now we matching. Yes, indeed. We matching, matched out. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nade. I make glowing up content. I make R&B music, and overall, my girl, that part. <laughs> That's me. Anyways, Indeed. let's get to it. I'm back with another content creator tips video and a little backstory on how I got to this point and what tips I needed to learn these are things that i actually learned during my process during my progress in my content creation so i actually made a voiceover yesterday just driving i'm like thinking about stuff and i'm like okay i just did a little voice memo well i feel like i need to share it on this video so i'm just gonna attach a bunch of clips and put the voiceover on top of it my whole life i have been told i can never stick with anything i was told oh, you can't stick to a job. I was told, oh, you never stick with a class. Like I was in so many classes growing up because I would get bored. I was in circus, I was in gymnastics, I was in different types of classes and I would just always get bored. I would have singing classes, guitar classes, piano lessons, so many things theater. And it would be going too slow And because I'm like, I want to be challenged right now. Everything was too easy for me, going too slow. I've always just wanted to be, okay, push me, you know? And that's why I considered going into the military when I was 18, 19, because I'm like, you know what? Everything has just been so, besides math and everything, everything has been so smooth sailing school-wise, algorithmic-wise. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I wanted to be physically, mentally, and emotionally challenged. And I did not find any class that would do that for me. I went to counselors that didn't challenge me they were telling me what i already knew and it's like if you feel like there's nothing coming your way that is right for you that's okay because you need like me i didn't care what anybody thought of me i still kept going i still kept pushing because i know who i am i'm not going to stay somewhere that doesn't serve me that doesn't value me that doesn't show me my own worth treat me as my worth. There's so many different generational thinking patterns that, oh, well, even if they treat you like shit, you gotta stay because you gotta keep that job and you gotta have those benefits. And there's so many different perspectives and mindsets depending on which age range you're in, which generation, which era you grew up in. None of it is wrong and none of it is right. Everything is designated to individual opinion and perspective. What works for you probably isn't gonna work for me. What works for me doesn't work for you. I am good under pressure. I would never study weeks in advance for tests when I knew, when I had peers that were studying 24, eight, day in and day out, studying for a fucking test weeks out. And I was like, no, I'll just, you know, I'm, I do better if I just test or if I just study a few days before or overnight. And look, I have a 3.9 GPA. See, that's besides the point. That doesn't matter. But just saying what works for everyone doesn't always work for you. When you are thinking of, okay, well, I need to niche. I need to be in a certain category. You don't need to. Thing is, yes, I get it. We all care to a certain extent what people think of us. What helped me get out of that mode of caring, of, of worrying, of just feeling like, oh, I need to please them. I got to walk on eggshells around them because you don't know what's going to happen. What helped me get out of that was meditation. That may sound cliche. That may sound like, oh, bitch, I'm not going to sit down and close my eyes for a few minutes a day and just be still. Like, I get it. It sounds silly depending on how you think. It's honestly what got me out of the past, what got me out of the future. And see, I'm not fully out of the future because I'm always thinking about, you know, a beautiful future and what 
is going, what happens, what is going to happen. That's okay. That's okay for us to strive. But if we're too much, that causes anxiety. And meditation really helps in breathing. Coming up with our breath that we didn't think would help us that we didn't think we had if you think about it in hard situations if you just breathed more every time i've had an anxiety attack i'm (laughs) think about it that's all within your breath calming your breathing and just thinking your way through it my spirituality heightened and has given me clearer intentions clearer goals clearer execution without a quiet mind You cannot get anywhere without being messy. If you are always in your head, you have so many different thoughts. Think about it. Your execution tactic is going to be all over the place because whatever is internal is external. This is content creator and motivation, inspirational tips just as young women because we tend to, you know, compare ourselves to other social media influencers and content creators, YouTubers, and it's like, we haven't been in it as long as them. So you can't compare yourself to anyone else's journey. You're, you are your own, I don't want to say competition because, you know, I already said that, but you are your own enemy. How about that? You are your own enemy. So you get to decide if you are you become best friends with yourself. If you treat yourself how you want a friend to treat you, you decide how you handle you. Are you your own best friend? Do you even want to be friends with yourself? Or are you always kicking yourself, like punching yourself in the head because you feel like you're dumb, that you're stupid, that, oh, I don't know how to react. I don't know how to feel. Those are signs that you need to ask for help. And that's okay to ask for help. I know as women, we are, I mean, not everyone, but majority of women are more expressive than men. And look, my videos are based on hiring women's self-esteem, feminine divinity. I know like females who are way too overexpressive. I know females who are have very masculine traits and don't express anything and just handle everything themselves. Depending on your situation, you need to decide what is best for you. And if you know your life isn't going how you want it to, what can you do about it? What can you do about it right now? Because waiting and waiting isn't going to do anything. You're a fucking ticking time bomb. I realized this when I went to the Women's Expo. My first Women's Expo in LA a few days ago on June 2nd because I was questioned like there were so many vendors so many people speaking on different topics women's health women's business fashion design so many things massage clothing painting sipping like there's so many things that went on there it was marvelous if you have a women's expo near you please go to it network connect even if you are an introvert like me i went by myself Like, I challenged myself. I wasn't going to beg anyone to go with me because, you know, people are people in. So, anyways, I went by myself, and yes, I am an introvert, but I did speak to a few select people, got what I needed. God doesn't give you what you want. God gives you what you need. That is challenging yourself. I challenged myself to go by myself and to speak to a few people but still maintain my boundaries and say no when I don't want something. See, I've been to fairs and stuff with people who are like, don't know how to say no. They just go up to every stand, they buy everything, and then they're like, oh my god, like I spent so much money, oh, and I'm not even gonna use this, oh. And it's like, me? No. No, hunty, not me. I'm not going up to that booth because I don't care. I don't care what you're selling. I'm not gonna wear it. I'm not gonna use it. I told multiple people they were trying to get, like, you know, sales, the, they try to get you to come to their booth. If you don't want to go, don't go. Say no or just keep walking because they're out of you. They're pressing you. Hold on. Let me sit by my seat. Just stay firm on your boundaries. And I could have went, you know, knocked myself in the back saying, oh, well, you didn't talk to as many people as you wanted to oh, you didn't go up to as many blah, 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 to network, blah, blah, blah. 
I could have beat myself up about it, but no, I'm like, what happened for me is exactly what needed to happen. Right at the end, someone came up to me and said, have you done the stress test yet? I'm like, no, I haven't. It was like a little machine and you hold the two balls. I don't know if you've seen it before. It's like two little metal things that looks like you put on your ears and they said to imagine something that stresses you out a lot and then imagine something that makes you really happy and the pedometer went like one side to one side if you feel a certain way they are i didn't even know what they were i knew they were selling books but i didn't know they were therapists that this really helps people learning how your mind is learning how to deal with certain people's personalities and when you see people react a certain way you can you already can call them out based on how they're feeling if they're acting insecure well this is why like i got the book i got the book and i've been learning off the book i told them i'm not gonna read it i ended up reading it it was meant for me they were like pressuring me to buy the book at first and i'm like no 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 i'm not getting it but I decided I didn't get it because they were pressuring me. I got it because they listened to me. They were asking me questions. They were personable. These are good sales tactics. Getting into your customers, your clients' minds, and sticking around even when they're being stubborn. I keep saying no. They keep saying, well, tell me about this. Tell me about this. You're stubborn. I like that. Like making it fun and fly without getting upset. People get upset when they don't like rejection. A lot of people struggle with. I could tell you what rejection means on here on, on my book right now. Honestly, I think this is the whole reason God pushed me to go to that women's expo. I needed help. I needed emotional, mental help because they ask me questions and I start tearing up. I'm like, why the fuck am I tearing up? Because everything we hold inside, we say we're okay, but there's still little and large traumas holding onto us on the inside that trigger us by certain words that we don't even know are triggering us. There's certain things we don't know, certain things we do know. And it's like, what if we just let all of it go? When the clock strikes midnight I better hear that doorbell ring Cause boy I need you